Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kagho coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be talking about what I think were some phenomenal Phase 3 successes and where things went right, especially after we've seen uh, Phase 3 be live for about two weeks now. Um, I was very critical at its launch because I felt like they messed up quite a lot of things and I just, you know, felt like you should call them out when something goes horribly wrong. Uh, mainly the incursions was the big thing that I was very upset with. I thought it would destroy the economy, having thousands of people get thousands of gold in that opening 12 hours, but it actually uh, has all kind of balanced out in a weird way. But before we get into the video, be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so i truly do feel like now incursions are balanced with gold xp and everything that you're able to get because it you know it, it's a good way for leveling but it's not the absolute best way you know it's something you can do but you don't have to do which is awesome. You can go out there and quest. I did some questing on my druid to 45 to make the alchemy video for you guys. And that felt really good. I was getting about a level an hour or so. Something pretty nice. Just solo questing, chilling, watching Netflix as I did it. So it wasn't very uh, you know, intense that I usually do when I do dungeon grinds or incursion grinding. Stuff like that. So it was just nice to chillax and feel rewarded. As well as the gold that you get for questing is quite high, so it's something to consider. Um, incursions also give you decent gold as well, but not as much as questing, so it's just something to, you know, consider when you're leveling. And then dungeons also feel really re rewarding, you know, making a full ZF group to go out there and blast. That feels good. Everything feels pretty balanced for once, and that's awesome. I think. When Classic WoW feels balanced in those senses, like nothing is the best XP gain, the best gold gain, and the best place for everyone to be, that that's just not it. You know, that's not what Classic is about, in my opinion. So, anyway, I'm glad that they have fixed incursions, and those feel way, way better. The next thing that I think they have done really well is heard our feedback on runes. Um, this coming Tuesday, they're changing rune slots, as well as they also changed a lot of the obnoxiously hard ones to get or super tedious ones. An example was the newest one here where you had to go to get ley lines for priest, paladin, mage, and warlock. Originally, mages and warlocks were the only one that could get the items that you needed to unlock it. So priests and paladins were just screwed, and they were charging people a lot of gold, especially those priests and paladins, because they have absolutely no way of getting it. They have now switched that rune and made it uh, BOE, so you can use it even if you aren't those classes and you can go get the items so that's cool really awesome and i'm not flaming people who charged for it it was a very tedious rune to get i i opened every single scroll i got while leveling my mage and i didn't get a single uh spell notes that i needed to get that rune i ended up paying 20 gold myself just for a raid group so it was a lot of hours and work to for those warlocks and mages to go and get it but it is very nice to see Blizzard see what's going on and be like, okay, yeah, we should fix that. Very well done by them. Then finally, with Phase 3, I really have enjoyed uh, max level content. Like, there's so much to do with the wild offerings, uh, grinding out reputations, um, going to, you know, get your professions done. Like, there's just so much that you can do. The epic quest line, uh, the just so many choices options things you can do there isn't like a set this is the path you go on to get your best stuff it is all it's like a web almost and you have to go dabble in everything to reach your best and that's really cool to see i really like that when it's um you know horizontal instead of just a vertical path that everyone follows it feels really good much better than phase one and phase two where you just kind of got max level and then you did the raid and all your bisque gear was from the raid and then you just sort of raid logged or did an alt and did it again you, you know so that felt really really awesome so i was very glad to see that then next after phase two launched they sort of gave us the 100 percent xp buff really about 
a month into phase two because leveling from 1 to 25 was pretty quick and easy but leveling from 25 to 40 was very tedious and difficult so from for phase three from 40 to 50 they just gave us the flat xp boost they're tweaking it quite a bit um they made it 75 when they did their incursion fakes so i do like faster leveling here because it is a seasonal server this is sod is only supposed to last for one year despite its overwhelming success with it um it's only supposed to be a year it might go further i don't know i don't work for blizzard but I do like faster leveling because it is a seasonal thing, um, and it's really weird to feel like <laughs> to be able to blast so fast in Classic, because largely what I love so much about Classic WoW is the journey, is the entire thing. Stout choices you make at level 20 with your professions and leveling them up and stuff matter a ton at the end game. And while yes, speed and leveling very fast diminishes that sense of accomplishment and achievement for your character. I still think it is really good here in Sod because it is sort of a, a giant experiment of what might even become Classic Plus one day. So that's why I enjoy the faster leveling. Then, kind of weird saying this, but I think the hyper-inflated economy is actually working really well. Um, this has allowed players to just, yes consumable prices are really high and kind of ridiculous in my opinion however people can just go out there and farm hundreds of gold whether you're farming materials that i mentioned in one of my farming videos or if you are going out there in farming um you know incursions for uh, people are getting 80 to 100 gold an hour just farming incursion missions with a group of people so going out there and just blasting that and to get gold for your consumes you know like log in play for an hour get your consume money buy your consumables go out there and just sort of play the game and enjoy it so that's really cool to see that um i was kind of shocked that it's working like i figured we would see something similar that happened at phase two the people who played phase one did gday keys had tons and tons of gold they were sitting on thousands of it from doing all the things that were allowed and then they were profiting off of people like consumes were like one gold a pop and in phase two you couldn't really earn too much gold there was nothing there for you to do gold farms felt terrible i didn't even make too many gold farm videos i think i made one or two of them just going out in the world and farming because it just felt so terrible and i felt bad saying okay guys go do this get 20 gold an hour and then maybe you might be able to afford your full consume list for a raid and it just felt really terrible but this phase it feels really really awesome and starting tomorrow i'm gonna start giving you guys some awesome farming videos to uh, help you make some decent gold with this phase and you know with all these epic craftables the farms that you go for for these are pretty awesome so it just sort of works out and uh, usually inflation is really bad in real life but here in season of discovery is actually working quite well it feels like for me at least let me know what you guys think i know you guys don't have as much time as i do to play the game all the time but if you do uh if you do like it and you think it's good let me know because this is one that i i feel like it's great but i'm not entirely sure and you know generally everything inflating is usually bad especially in real life um and then on top of all those changes with the hyperinflation of the economy here in phase three they have a ton of stricter rules against botting, which I think is an amazing W. So they added a new player, new account restriction to Season of Discovery servers that doesn't allow you to trade or, you know, do anything with other players until one month. And I think that is a really good positive change because that one month allows you to... Um, allows them to detect those bots and ban them before they are a problem. Um, and yes, I know that one month would suck for newer players, but honestly, how many people are brand new accounts? I feel like most brand new accounts today are people that have either are creating a second account, which I think you can link to your battle net anyway, and it would be fine. Or they are people that are just trying to be bots or make a burner account to buy the gold and then trade it to themselves people do that so it's just you know i think i hope blizzard really looked at that data and that metric because they obviously have it for how many accounts are new because yes it would suck to be an, a legitimate new player trying to play world of warcraft for the first time and you want to come to sod and your account is locked that that really would suck that you can't do that for a month 
but I really would like to see how many people are truly brand new to World of Warcraft and that would affect them because thus far I haven't seen too many bots out in phase three just farming away and stuff so that's a really huge relief in my opinion because bots really destroy the economy so Anyway, those are my thoughts on everything that I thought were really good here in Phase 3. I always like to make a positive video anytime I am making a negative video, even though the negative video does way better for whatever reason. I like to, you know, think of positive things. So if you disagree with me, if you think I missed anything, definitely drop it down below. I love reading those comments. I love the thoughtful discussions that take place there. They truly, you know, I really do read every single comment. I might not reply to every single one. I try to, but... I do read them all, and I really enjoy the conversation. So anyway, guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.